Hi DIY friends, I'm Cindy with Flipping with Color and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it can be to create an ombre with just two colors of DIY paint. I can't be the only one who's blending challenged. When I first started painting, I watch everyone that does these beautiful blends and ombres and there's no lines. They just seamlessly move from one color to another. Mine always had lines. <laughs> Finally, I figured out a method that worked for me. I'm sharing it with you with the hopes that it'll help you if you are also blending challenged. First thing I'm gonna do is, these are the supplies we're gonna be using. It's fairly simple. I'm going to use two different colors. Right now I've got out Salty Kiss and Tarnished Pearl. I have a mixing bowl with my spray bottle, very important. And I have five brushes. It's not as complicated as it sounds, trust me. Let's practice on a sample board. Plus, once this is done, we can turn this into a nice little sign or some piece of decor. So, it's not wasted by any means. So first thing I'm going to do is put down just a base coat and then we'll do the blending layer on top of that. While our base coat is drying, the next thing we're going to do is mix our intermediate color. We're going to use our Salty Kiss for our first third of our board. We're going to use the Tarnished Pearl for this end of the board. But the middle color, we're going to do a mixture of the two of these. So I have a bowl here that I've lined, a mixing bowl. I've lined it with press and seal so it's easier to clean. And we're going to mix half and half of the two colors. What we'll have here is the mid-tone for our ombre. Once you get the blending technique down, it's easy then to start using three different colors, four different colors, whatever, but I find this the easiest way to start to learn to do an even blend is to mix two colors to make your third. All right, now let's start the base of our ombre. Our first step is to put some of the straight Salty Kiss on one third of our board. So this is what it means to be living in darkness. I didn't know you were the red inside my mind. No, I couldn't even tell if you should be Misting very lightly to help the DIY paint move because it's a very thick, highly pigmented clay-based paint. But I also don't want to put enough water on that I get any blending and reactivating that base coat below yet. That's not part of our blending technique. The next color we're gonna do, which requires a new brush, is our mint color that we mixed half and half with the Salty Kiss and the Tarnished Pearl. I'm gonna spray my brush a little bit, get it damp. And then we'll put this color right in the middle will go right to that line. We're not going to worry about any blending right now. Having a line is perfectly fine at this point. We're just laying down our sections of color for our ombre. We don't need to worry about our brush strokes or anything special right now. This is just our base coat to get our colors down. We aren't worrying about our blending yet. I'm going to set down with a third brush and give it a spritz of water. We're going to put a coat here. One kiss was all it took. Color eyes, color eyes. The oldest trick in the book. Color eyes, color eyes. I see the light. Board is dried on our first round of the ombre. Just going to miss the areas where I'm doing the blend. Go in with just a tad more of our dark color. A 
little bit more of our light color. Clay paint is drying very quickly today, so I'm gonna give it a light mist a little bit again so that it will blend. And I have my dry brush again. And again, we're going to go up and down. Come back and go the other direction. Feather it out. Literally just feathering it out. Now, I'm going to take this color that we mixed, put it back into our midsection. Take our white. Put it back up here on this top layer. And then we want our blending brush for that section, which is now dry. Nothing's coming off on my hand. And back and forth. Feather it out. this way until we feel we have that blend the way we want it to look. So this is our end result. This is our ombre using two colors and mixing a third color for the blended portion and using a light feathering touch with dry brushes to get rid of our lines. Next, I think I'll make it into a sign. Some words, maybe my favorite saying. There's gotta be a saying that's perfect for this season in our lives. I hope you've learned something that will help you out with your blending today. If you'd like to get any of the products that I use today, they're available at flippingwithcolor.com or check the DIY paint page for a retailer located near you. Cleaning marathon. <laughs>